Burgen, Schlösser, Kulturlandschaften und Kunstwerke. Für deren Erhalt setzt sich der Denkmalverband Europa Nostra ein und den Präsidenten von Europa Nostra begrüße ich jetzt bei mir, Opernstar Placido Domingo. Guten Abend. Guten Abend. Herr Domingo, Sie sind der Präsident von Europa Nostra. Warum sind denn der Denkmalschutz und die Bewahrung des kulturellen Erbes so wichtig für Sie? Warum setzen Sie sich gerade für dieses Thema so ein? I think it's very important. We have, uh, Europe is, uh, of course, the most important part of the world. I mean, uh, for tradition, for time, and uh, because centuries they have passed, we have so many, many treasures. We have heritage all around the countries, and they have to be preserved. They have to be protected, defend in some moments. And uh, we have to call the attention of the responsibles. Der Begriff der europäischen Kultur ist ja ein sehr abstrakter. Was macht denn eigentlich diese ganzen unterschiedlichen Nationen, die ganzen unterschiedlichen Gesellschaften? Was haben die eigentlich gemeinsam? Was ist denn die europäische Kultur? Well, it is, uh, it is very strange because uh, even with all the diversity of different nations that we have, there is a, a common denominator which it makes us put together. I mean, if we are talking about folklore, for instance, in most of the cases, the colors and the costumes are so close in a way. I think it's a big union of all the things that we have. And we can find in any of the countries uh, treasures which we are unaware. It's very easy to know the, the big places we all know. So there are innumerable, innumerable things that we really need the preservation and the renovation. Wenn jetzt über Europa gesprochen wird, wird oft über die Politik gesprochen, über die Wirtschaft gesprochen, jetzt über die, die Wahlen, die bevorstehen. Kommt die Kultur in Europa vielleicht oft ein bisschen zu kurz? I know we have passed a tremendous crisis problem, a tremendous crisis in the world, which was caused basically for corruption and greediness. And this is the great pity, because Okay, we can be, a crisis could always happen, an economic moment, but when it is produced by those facts, it's sad, it's sad. And then for you leave things that it will need not so much, but it will need the help of some people. So we are there for, for that and we are creating a group of more and more people that maybe single-handed can solve some of those situations. Wer ist denn eigentlich verantwortlich dafür, das kulturelle Erbe in Europa zu bewahren? Kann man das sagen überhaupt? We are all. It's not, a, it's not a one special group. We are one group. All the people, they are doing things individually and so on. Is, is our responsibility. We must. Und kommen wir kurz vom Denkmalschutz noch zur Oper. Sie haben einmal in einem Interview gemeint, dass das Wiener Publikum das beste Publikum in der Welt ist. Warum ist das Wiener Publikum das Beste auf der Welt? Well, the Wiener Public has a, an special enthusiasm for me. I mean, for me, it's so unbelievable to come and sing here. It's on the 19th of me now. It will be 47 years since I make my debut, you know. It's a long time. And the public is so loyal, it's so phenomenal. I sang last night, I sang three days ago, I will sing after tomorrow. Every year I come, I sing, I conduct. And the public doesn't change, the public is there with me. You have one of the most beautiful and popular opera houses. So the tourist that comes to Austria, a stop for the public in Austria, is the opera house, you see? So other countries, they have 
many other places. Okay, okay. You have to go to Schönbrunn when you are in Vienna. You know, you have, you have to go to, to 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 many places. You have to see the the the, the Spanish writing school. You have to see so many things. But the opera is number one, so you are safe. And uh, but you have a public that uh, if they in all the great occasions they are there. And they don't want to let you go home, you know, so they applaud you for 10, 15, 20, 40. Can you believe over an hour? So that's the way they are. Sie haben schon erwähnt, dass ihr Debüt vor jetzt bald 47 Jahren in Wien stattgefunden hat. Wie hat sich denn Wien oder wie hat sich denn das Publikum in dieser Zeit verändert? Können Sie das sagen? The audience, uh, they are the same. I mean, the, the audience is there. The only difference that it might be is that when I was 20, when I made my debut, I was 28 years old, you know, so for many, many, many years, you know, at the stage door, you know, they came, you know, so after the performance, maybe they come something like over 100 young girls, you know, so today the girls, they are ladies, <laughs> okay, so that's the only difference, but it's logical, I was very young and today I, it is, that's the only difference that I can see. <laughs> Jetzt haben Sie über 144 Rollen auf der Bühne gesungen, mehr als sonst jemand in der Geschichte. Gibt es eine Rolle, wo Sie sagen würden, das würden Sie noch gern singen, die würden Sie noch gern spielen? I still have uh, roles that I want to sing from Verdi, like uh, I'm doing it this coming year, Hernani and Macbeth. The, the most important thing is that I, if I should be here on earth in four years, that's the most important thing. And it's funny when I talk to to a director of a theater and said and said I and I hope then you are also here too, you know. So because maybe it could be a change of theater. And then the the last thing I said, well, I hope the planet is here, you know, because we, we never know. But we have to make plans, you know. So I, I continue my plans, hoping that I can sing for some more years. Gibt's irgendwie manchmal Momente, wo man sich überlegt, vielleicht doch aufzuhören. Ich denke jetzt zum Beispiel an die, an die Lungenembolie im letzten Jahr, wo Sie im Krankenhaus waren. Sind das Situationen, wo man sich überlegt, sich doch ins Privatleben zurückzuziehen? I uh, yeah, I have it uh, last July. And I, um, I recover, I recover very well. I was singing almost, uh, what was, this happened 7th of, 20 days later I was singing and of course I have been taking some some medicine which you had to take for a year the year is going up, is approaching now in July and I feel fine I only I would like to have more time to walk more time to do exercise is very much recommended and that's what I don't have sometimes I I have to study so much I should take my score and walk into a park rather than sitting you know just in a hall so Jetzt stehen Sie schon wirklich bald seit 50 Jahren auf der Bühne und haben eine ganz große internationale Karriere hinter sich. Was ist das Geheimnis von so einer Laufbahn? I think it's the great passion I have for what I do. I dedicate completely. And I, uh, it's my life. My parents, they were singers. They show me this. My wife has been a singer, a director. My children, they continue with the same enthusiasm about my career. So it's no one that in the family says, ah, what my dad does, I don't like it, you know. So it is, everybody encouraged me, everybody is with me. Dann bedanke ich mich sehr herzlich fürs Gespräch und noch viele tolle Rollen, Placido Domingo, vielen Dank. Dankeschön. <lacht>